Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. <laughs> I'm Brandy Price. We're going to check out from Dark Five today. You know, Halloween's coming up. That's right. Halloween's coming up, so I figured. Five most horrifying Halloween murders. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Fucking scary, I feel. I'm like, oh, oh no! <laughs> Candy man. Halloween night, 1964. Ten year old Timothy. Oh man, after eating Pixie's. Oh, never eat a Pixie stick again. I loved those when I was a kid. Oh. Huh. What was wrong with the Pixie straw? I know. Cyanide? What the fuck? How'd that get in there? Oh my god. No! He murdered his own kid? But he, he handed it out. I mean, both. Protesters gathered to cheer and shout trick, trick or treat. No, that's you. Yeah. Killer prophet. I don't want Halloween to come around. It's such a dark holiday, man. Oh, Jesus.
Subscribe. Subscribe to Dark Vibes. I don't like that. Oh, man. Okay. The one that honestly shocked me the most was the first one they said. The picky sticks? The pixie? Pi pixie, pixie sticks? sticks yeah. yeah, the pixie straw stuff and all that. What a horrible thing to do to you. Mm -hmm. Like, take out life insurance policies and you murder your own kids so you could get the money for, like, how Sick. fucking disturbing. Was this guy even diagnosed with, like, some type of illness or mm -hmm. was he just... He was just desperate. Oh, my God. It made it sound like he was handing them out to everybody, not just his own kids. Yeah, like when people were doing trick-or-treating, yeah. he was uh -huh. handing it out. So he was like, killed more than left. just that one kid. Yeah. Well, it made them sick at least, but the kid with them left, he probably was like, oh, I'm going to get a ton of them and fill them all. And then when all the remaining ones, like he... I feel like there had to have been some kind of disorder though, because... It takes I someone very sick... Yeah, I don't imagine like he did that. it and it was like totally okay with what he did. Like there's got to be either he was really haunted by it or he was like fucking skits. As I noticed in a lot he of these might crimes. He's a sociopath and just not be able to feel. Yeah, who the fuck would marry that guy or sleep with him? I don't know. Well, I mean, I'm sure lots of sociopaths have sex. How do you think I and got Veronica? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the stories of when parents kill their own kids, those are the ones that really gets mm -hmm. me the most. If you guys are suspecting that your parents are gonna kill you, I say kill them first. No, if don't you get do a that. hunch, just just leave. Just a hunch of it, just like a little no. pinch of suspicion. Get a little pinch of suspicion. I say act on it immediately. Don't do it. These are the words of Ryan Wright. This video makes me really scared of Halloween because there's I've been seeing so many of these like Dark Five videos lately. I'm thinking about like, man, Halloween really is a night that is so dark that people might get lost in like in the darkness of it all. The high school murder. Um, I mean, the when the high school uh, building got caught on fire because four teenagers weren't allowed to get in, so they caused the fire. The discotheque. Disco the discotheque. Mm -hmm. um, not appropriate. <laughs> I feel like if four kids didn't get into a Christmas party, I don't feel like they would have felt as inclined to pull something so dark. Oh, I think they probably would. You think so? Yeah. Not if they were Christians on Christmas. I think they were going to do it. They're going to do it. Anytime you think so? they were gathered together, yeah. Halloween just seems like a, a time where, you, where people get so lost in darkness and stuff and they like indulge in darkness that I feel like they're more likely to commit acts of crime. Because it's more forgivable? Yeah. I don't know about forgivable, but it's more ten you know, more tempting, I think, or um, more mm -hmm. more fa fascinating to give into such a thing, you know? It's a little strange how, like, these always, all these murders occurred directly on Halloween. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like there, there seemed to be some type of horror thing linked to this situation, you know? But we could probably watch one that had to do with Christmas and have all these weird things happen. I'm trying to say that video games cause people to kill people. That, what? No, you I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying that. to take a stance. I figured, you know, I should take some type of political stance here. Do it. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm ready for it. The Republicans are right. Right? That's the cool thing to say. Hmm. They're the ones for gay marriage, right? <laughs> totally. Yeah. Joan Rabble. Or so Rabel. he was involved with a girl, he was and that girl with was girl. involved with a guy, and that guy killed him. I don't know what all the particulars are, but it seemed to me like he was in or she was involved with him and his wife in a love triangle type of thing because rabble is the one that convicted or convinced him to kill her husband right okay yeah because those two were sentenced were the ones that were sentenced i know murders not only occur on halloween but for some reason i feel like halloween was a specific date for these guys to actually do these murders oh we could just act like trick-or-treaters and then do this you know like kill well, them this one definitely because it was after 11 p.m. and he's like, oh, who's at the door? So he yeah. goes to answer it and then... That's why you don't get in love like triangles. right through the heart. You don't get <laughs> in love part. triangles. You don't. When Veronica and I were in a love triangle, some of the hottest days of our life. Black man named uh, uh, Tyrone. Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that one where the kid came home and found his like family dead. Like, and he thought it was a prank. Yeah, that's so. What I if he? Uh, what if he thought it was a prank for like three hours? He would be that dense. I, I know, but on. imagine he like goes home. He's like, "All right, guys, I'm gonna walk in the other room now. When you guys are ready to stop pulling this joke, I'll be watching television." And then yeah. he just waits for a few hours. I mean, I then he opens the door again. 
three hours still... later, and he's still there, and he's like, okay, you guys are really trying to make the place smell. There's this corn syrup everywhere. You guys need to stop. Closes the door. Next day. you got, Guys, it's not even Halloween anymore. Stop it. That's longer than three hours. I know. This went on for about 24 hours before he realized they were actually dead. No. <laughs> no? This isn't a good joking topic? No. Because it's real. It is real. So I shouldn't make fun of something real. Because mm. that's was... what the Democrats would do. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is just to make me look like I'm insensitive and that I'm stupid at the same time so I can get away with the insensitivity. I, I think it's working. Just like the Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, it was a weird discussion after the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe today and become rejected. No, just rejects. Just become a reject. Hashtag I'm a real reject. I like that one actually. Yeah, yeah hashtag that. And you could hashtag Brandy. 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 You could hashtag baseline beatnik. But Beanick is a per is a type of person too. What is that? What kind of person is that? It's someone that can rejects conventional behaviors. Like a real reject. Yeah, kind of. Huh? Mm-hmm. Are you just stealing? Okay, all right. No, and you could uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I have a Vine and Periscope. And uh, let's do a shout out to um, a person who really deserves it. Cornell Murray, the real rejects, bro. I love your channel. Me and my sister watch you, Tyrone, Gator, Akasan, and all the reactors every day. Keep it up. Oh, um, may I have a shout out? Listen, Cornell, I don't care that you watch Tyrone, Gator, Akasan, and all the other reactors because mm -hmm. guess what? There's like 56 reactors now. Okay, there's too many of them. Yeah. I want to prove something to you. I want to tell you something, okay? I actually take the time to try to discuss the video afterwards. So is Brandy with her videos. Most reactors, they react. Two seconds later, subscribe. You look at us, we got lights, we got a professional camera, we got a microphone. There's this fucking set here. This ain't some, this ain't some like living room background or something. This, mm -hmm. is, this is an actual set. I mean, mine's a living room background. Yeah, 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 get, get, get a set. Live up to the par of me. The fact that you're saying you watch me and then all these other motherfuckers? No. It's not cool. Don't watch my channel anymore. I don't want you to watch the channel for now. Because I'm better than you. I'm better than them. I'm not better than Tyrone. Or Gator Martin. Or Jinx. Or Akasan. Or Brandy. You made him cry. You made him cry because you asked for a shout out. What's wrong with you? I'm sick of being compared to all these fucking people. I'm sick of being in the same category as all these reactors. Okay. Just turn off the camera, Brandy. Turn off the fucking